traders and welcome back to Trading with Denise. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use a level two trading on Fidelity Active Trader Pro. Um, so it's going to be a great video for people who are interested in day trading or people who already day trade that might learn a thing or two. Um, but yeah, so um, before we get started, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe and you hit the notification bell because that's how you're going to get my videos as soon as I upload them. Um, and also check out my new office. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah, I know. It's not that much right now, um, but it's going to be, and I'm super psyched about it. Okay. And check out how I jerry-rigged my microphone for the voiceover. Works every time. Woo. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is just a quick overview of uh, the extended hours and directed trade boxes with Fidelity Active Pro. Um, this is how you use level twos uh, to tr practice your trading if you are wanting to get into day trading. Um, as you can see right here, we have an OTC stock, ILUS. You can't see as much with the OTC stocks, but you can see how many shares are being bought and sold. Um, you can also see what the bid is and how many people are bidding um, and the ask and how many people are asking as well as the volume overall, which is a, a pretty good indication of uh, what type of movement the stock is going to have. Um, this is a listed stock, same thing you can see over here. Um, the volume similar, but the, the amount of shares being traded is a lot less um, just because OTC stocks generally, uh, people are buying a lot more shares at a time. Um, and this one, this one was pumping in the morning, but it took a dump after market open. Um, these are custom uh, bids and uh, sale orders that I made and that you can make in your directed trade windows. So you can just click the button and have your trade ready to go. Uh, makes it a lot faster and easier. This is also another OTC stock, FDVRF, um, that I've been taking, I've been watching. However, the volume's low today. But again, you can see how many shares, you can see the volume overall. Look at the difference in volume. That kind of gives you a great um, idea of which stocks you should be trading versus which ones you should just be watching. Um, so if, taking a look at Sensionics, um, like I said, it would drop. I said that in my video, I had a feeling it was gonna drop just because of the general feel of things. Um, also, the market is correcting itself today, so that contributes to uh, a lot of the, these stocks, that, the growth stocks that we're seeing dropping. Um, but again, you can see um, the bid, the ask, the volume. You can see how many uh, orders are in. These are the amount of orders that are in. The bids are on the left side um, and the ask is on the right side. So um, these are orders that have been put in but maybe have not executed yet. As they're executing, they will leave, which is why you see the movement there. Um, so over here in the OTC box, you can see that you can't see the same uh, amount of information because there's not as much information um, through Fidelity with the OTC stocks, unfortunately. But uh, I mean, this is a great way for you to read the stock and watch the charts. So you can watch the charts but all day long, but if you're not looking at the numbers moving in the level twos, it's really hard to gauge which way the stock's gonna go. Because as you can see, sometimes they start to go up and then they start to turn back down. And now if you watch ILUS right here, you can see that it's it's shooting up. See that? It's going right up. And you see all the buy orders coming in the bottom? So you know that's a time to buy. You want to buy it as you can see it starting to shoot back up, but you also want to sell it before it comes back down. So you don't want to waste any time. You want to make sure that you're ready with your buy and sale orders, whether you, you need two to four boxes open at a time, that's what you gotta do. Now let's look at EDU, that's another one. Oh, let me go over here. Okay, so EDU, um, this one has a call option on October 15th for $5 a share. I don't see it reaching $5, but look at these buy orders. There's a lot of sale, sell orders too, but there's a lot of buy orders. And so I see this one not dropping too much. And if you think about it, it did drop since um, the market's been correcting itself, but not as much as some of these other stocks we've been seeing. Now, do I think it's going to get to $5 by October 15th? Probably not. Um, but I think it'd go up at least a dollar or two. 
So you can go to the news and research tab and this will help you uh, just kind of watch the news a little bit. Um, now I have it open for extended hours trading because that's I'm always trading in the pre-market. I wake up super early and I trade. Most of my trading is done in the beginning of the day. I'm usually done by noon and then I just take the rest of the day off and hang out with my kids, you know, but um, there's a lot of different uh, types of news. And you can see here, they have earnings releases, they have analyst ratings, there's all different types of news. So you can set it um, to whatever you want. Generally, I only have this open in the morning for extended hours trading, but it's useful. And any tools on here that could help you find the, the right stocks at the right time are going to be useful. So you can type in a stock and you can see the exact time that it was bought and sold, how many shares, um, and uh, right here, you can see the most active stocks, which would be, um, which is usually what I'm looking for. We can see Zevo is up at the top. I did day trade that one this morning a couple of times. Um, but that, you know, this shows you which ones have the most volume and the most movement, the most change in percentage gains. Um, and you can set it to where it's only showing you exactly what you want to see. So I like to see it from the top down, um, whoever has the most volume. Um, I don't care if the stock's going up or down because I day trade. So when I'm day trading, if a stock goes down, nine times out of 10, it's gonna bounce back up. It might not bounce up that much. It could be a five to 10 cent bounce back up, but it doesn't matter to me because I'm buying such a large size. So if you buy a thousand shares and it goes up, uh, five cents, you make $50. So it's worth it to me um, to buy stocks even when they're going down. You just have to make sure you watch the chart. Um, and again, they have a bunch of different filters in here. So you can see, um, you know, bullish morning momentum. Like there's going to be a ton of different stocks and options in here. Uh, some of them I've never even heard of before. Some of them will pop up one day and be amazing and then fall back down just as fast and you won't see it pop back up ever again, or you won't see it pop back up for another year. So for that reason, I tend not to hold a lot of stocks just because of days like today, when the market starts correcting itself, I learned the hard way about a year ago uh, when the market corrected itself and I wasn't prepared for it. I averaged down on a lot. I held a lot and that was stupid. In my opinion, if I could do things differently now, which I, you know, I do, but if I could give anyone a piece of advice, when the market corrects, itself, sell, sell your orders, um, sell your positions and make sure that you rebuy back in at a better price. There's always going to be other stocks that you can buy. So if you take a small loss today, it's better than taking a large loss in a few months from now. Um, and a lot of times it takes a while for these stocks to come back up. Even some of the growth stocks that you think are, uh, you know, going to be great. Sometimes they don't come up as, as well as you think they're going to come up um, or they don't come up as far as you, or you're hoping for them to. But yeah, so that kind of gives you an idea of the time and sales, uh, the level twos, and um, just kind of a general idea of how you could set up your Fidelity Active Trader Pro for okay, day guys, trading. That's all I have for you. If you like my video on how to use the level two trading on Fidelity Active Trader Pro, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. But don't forget to hit that notification bell because that's how you get my videos as soon as they're posted. Um, when you get a chance, check out my latest video on my Friday runners. I'll also go over some of the uh, the news for uh, Sensionics as well regarding their FDA approval. Um, and if you have any questions on Fidelity Active of Trader Pro, please leave it in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, if you have any suggestions or requests for videos, you can leave that in the comments below as well. Um, as always, guys, I really appreciate all of your support. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're trading, please be careful. We are experiencing a market correction right now. So trade with caution. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a great day. And as always, happy trading.